Thinking of escaping from it all? Just about every day. Perhaps to a part of the country far away. All right. But for Steve Kozlowski. I'm not sure what's what or what's where. His darkened, cluttered basement. I can't believe some of the finds in here. Is sheer bliss with a beat. Steve immerses himself in song. Most every day. I'm down here for at least five, six, seven hours. From the Bee Gees and Bach. You name it. I mean, it runs the entire gamut. To Chopin and Shaft. I can go back and listen to Isaac Hayes if I want to. The 67-year-old collects vinyl. Village people. Lots. The originals. Of vinyl. Hmm. 45s I have in here close to 2,000. Uh, 33s I probably have three to 5,000 here. Boxes of records collected at auctions and yard sales. This is part of the hunt. This is this is the stuff that I love. Discovering musical mysteries. I haven't been through half of these boxes. It's like striking gold. I love to be able to reach in here. For this New York native. All right, and pull out something like this. It's an Ann Murray. <laughs> Upstairs. It keeps him busy. <laughs> Carol, Steve's patient wife, grins and bears it. I've given up. It's it's about as safe a hobby as he could possibly have. Oh, it. <laughs> holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Steve doesn't it just listen. Oh no, he can carry a Christmas tune too in the middle of May. For yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Steve's obsession goes far beyond phonograph fun. When I was overseas, I lost five years of music. Life has dealt Steve several sour notes. This is where we first went in. For a half a century now, hidden demons. This was three months later. Have haunted this Vietnam veteran. <laughs> the former U.S. Marine witnessed horrors he cannot forget. 18 of us went in country, North Vietnam, 30 miles northwest of Hanoi. Four of us came out. The experience in his late teens scarred him on the outside and in. I'm here, they're not. We're gonna bullet holes here, bullet holes here, bullet holes here. PTSD led to a string of unsuccessful jobs driving trucks and a failed first marriage. Yes. Steve was at the end of his rope. Oh yeah. But rediscovering music all genres is slowly pulling Steve out of his dark place. Nobody has touched that vinyl for 40, 50, 60 years. And you heard the, the, the sound and the tone quality and everything else. His self-prescribed music therapy now this is easing his burden. I haven't even wiped the dust or the dirt off of this. Please don't take my sunshine away. To see the joy and the love and the excitement in something as simple as music. It just makes me very happy to see that. He deserves it. It is gorgeous. These days, Steve is sharing his love of lyrics on tour. It's a painful journey for this veteran. His destination, the same hallowed venue over and over again. It's a stress reliever. It relieves some of the pain that I have. Each month or so, Steve performs at the Virginia War Memorial. 12,000 names on here. And to be able to share it with a young gentleman like this right here. Thank you for your service, sir. All right, I appreciate it. All right, you led the way for me. This proud Marine sings the same tune to the same audience. From sea to shining sea. He truly believes they're listening to his very own Band-Aid. God don't leave America. Steve Kozlowski says his brothers and sisters in arms who never came home also deserve a song to finally soothe their soul. I gave some, they gave all. 
and the little bit that I can give back by singing right, or sharing my music and things like this, it's the least that I can do. That was beautiful, I mean. That's to you, my brothers and sisters.